मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मैं डॉक्टर देशोर शर्मा हूँ और मैं एक प्लास्टिक सर्जन हूँ एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन हेल्दी टॉक्स विद मिस्टर शफीक खान इट्स अ वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव चैनल विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड फॉर फॉर हेल्थ रिलेटेड इश्यूज विच कंसर्न्स यू इन योर डेली टू डेली लाइफ एंड प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब दिस प्लीज़ डू लिसन टू आर टॉक्स एंड डू सब्सक्राइब लाइक and share this channel so that everybody can benefit from the knowledge which we are providing in order to live a healthy and well <coughs> hello friends uh, i am dr adishwar sharma i am a plastic surgeon and a microvascular surgeon and i have got a special interest in brachial plexus so today i am going to speak about brachial plexus injuries uh, brachial plexus injuries as we speak uh, uh, brachial plexus is one plexus it's a bunch of nerves which comes from cervical plexus from cer uh, cervical spine and they supply the upper extremity both are upper extremities are supplied by brachial plexus they as you know upper extremity uh, hand and um, forearm arm is very much needed for the fine control of uh, for finer control and uh, for our professional social and personal life so brachial plexus injuries are very devastating for any individual who suffers such a injury now brachial plexus injuries can occur to any person from childbirth till death you see there but basically speaking injuries are classified into two major causes one is uh, birth birth can uh, birth time injuries these are known as obstetric uh, obstetric or birth uh, related brachial plexus injuries others are, uh, other classification is adult injuries now while well, coming to uh, today we are going to talk about adult injuries which are far more common and far more devastating because they occur to the person when he is in in his prime of life or he is starting his life and um, the mostly the sufferers are the main breadwinners of the family so these injuries have their social economic other cost as well apart from the medical side or the uh, injury per se now coming to the uh, adult brachial plexus injuries causes are mainly road roadside accident motorcycle accidents are the leading causes of these injuries apart from that these uh, brachial plexus problems can be occur due to tumor or there could be uh, radiation related injuries or there could be autoimmune uh, disorders but these are very far and few not very much most common is uh, motorcycle accidents and it is fairly common today in our um, modern civilized world that high speed motorcycle crashes often results in a uh, mutilated and handicapped person either even if he doesn't suffer from a devastating head injury or a chest injury brachial plexus injury if it occurs he is crippled for the life unless he goes to a specialized person for treatment now coming to the uh, adult brachial plexus injuries there are two distinct pattern which we see one is uh, though the injury you see if you look at the anatomy of the brachial plexus if you look at the anatomy of the brachial plexus there are three types of uh, 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 brachial plexus injury there are three part there are various uh, degrees of injuries it could be very mild injury it could be very devastating injury which is known as pan brachial plexus injuries but there are two major patterns of the injuries one is upper trunk injuries which we see and other is pan brachial plexus injury in which in 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 between there are there is a whole gamut of the injuries which is there and uh, uh, whole gamut of the injuries which are there of varying degree and varying severity now if you come to the upper uh, trunk injuries which are approximately 30 to 40 percent of the injuries which we see in india they these injuries with these injuries patient mainly suffers from uh, these are basically poor shoulders poor elbow and a good hand injuries so these injuries and uh, we can almost achieve 80 to 90% of the normal hand function um, by our nerve transfers and modern surgery now uh, coming to the other injuries 
which is known as pan brachial plexus injury pan brachial plexus injuries in which hand does not work neither the shoulder or the elbow so these are the complicated injuries they need multiple surgeries at multiple stages now there are few new techniques have come but uh, like wong technique and other techniques but the recovery rate in these wong technique and uh, other new newer technique is very long often 2 years 3 years but nevertheless they offer a sense of hope to these patients now coming to the timeline of the surgery you see immediately after your brachial plexus injury you may have associated injuries as well so first priority is to save the patient's life so he will undergo surgery for his head injury or chest injury or the other problems which or fractures which needs to be fixed before he undergoes surgery for the brachial plexus now the best time to operate brachial plexus injuries is 3 months to 6 months after that uh, if it's an upper trunk injury you can operate as late as 9 uh, months or probably one year but recovery is often poor in these patients and failure rate is high in best recovery is found in the patients who are who comes to a brachial plexus injuries and who can be uh, and who comes to a brachial plexus surgeon at right time now coming to the role of uh, who operates brachial plexus injury you see brachial plexus is such a topic that it um, there are only subset of specialized surgeons with specialized interest it's not your degree it's your training in brachial plexus which is separate from your degree you can be in he can be a neurosurgeon a plastic surgeon or an orthopedic surgeon with training in microsurgery who do, does this uh, brachial plexus injuries now let's talk about role of physiotherapy physiotherapy is very important but you see you patient must realize that broken nerves cannot be repaired by physiotherapy just merely moving joints if, if nerve is broken a nerve has to be restored and how we can restore we can restore through either through nerve transfers nerve grafts or these are the two main things in which we use for brachial plexus injuries and the but the physiotherapy plays a very important role in preventing contractures making joints soft and supple preventing deformities all the, in all these things and regain, retaining muscle strength and muscle bulk so all these things in all these things physiotherapy is very important for brachial plexus injuries and now let's talk about the prognosis you see if your injury is only upper trunk injury or partial injuries the prognosis is often very good in complete injuries prognosis uh, some reasonable function can be restored in the extremity so that person can go back to his uh, social economic and personal life idea of the surgery is to make a person more productive and uh, economically socially as well as to rehabilitate in his personal life thank you very much